Hey guys, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to clean the wheels and tires, but obviously these are hubcaps, so I uh, just wanted to show you a quick video on these. Uh, this is actually my little uh, detailing van, it's a 2009 HHR panel. Um, but uh, yeah, I just wanted to give you a quick example. Uh, it's gonna be the same, uh, same method as I showed you in the last video, uh, but I'm gonna show you just because it's a different type of wheel. Um, some people actually would take these off, take off the actual hubcap and also, also clean the backside, but I'm totally not gonna do that. Um, so I'm just cleaning the fenders, the tires, and the front of the hubcaps, and then uh, just so you can see uh, a different way to clean a different type of uh, wheel and tire. So let's get to it. So just to show you, the uh, fenders are actually uh, pretty dirty. Um, it's been raining a bit over here in Houston, and the tires are well. And of course, the wheel itself is a little dirty. Again, not too bad, but just wanted to shoot a quick video. Again, if you're going to worry about the tools and products that I have, I do have another video, so I'll link that up in the annotations. Um, but first, like I said, I don't like to use a lot of water, so I'll just go ahead and just spray, spray the fenders first and not even worry about the water. And then because the wheels and tires aren't that bad, I'm going to just go ahead and spray everything down because uh, it's really not that bad, so it doesn't need that much work. Uh, for the most part, I'm just going to use this long fender brush. Uh, I use it for pretty much every part of what I'm about to clean. Um, like I said, it's, it's, it's really not that bad. Uh, just mild dirtiness that we have going on. And again, if you do want to finish your wheels and tires much faster, if you uh, you know if you take a while and you've been looking trying to speed it up, and you've been looking at different products and tools that you need to buy, uh, honestly, just uh, speed yourself up. You know, I mean, you can buy uh, you know this is the, the you know a tool here and there to help you, but if you just move a lot faster than what you typically do, uh, you'll save a lot of time. So I just want to make sure you get all the way in the back. Between here, uh, there's actually a little lip right here between the fender and the actual paint. So I'm actually going to grab a smaller brush, uh, which I don't have at the time. So let me just see if I can get it with this. I'll come back to that. Um, it is, it did get a little dirtier, more dirty than I expected. So I'm going to rinse this off a little bit. But just the brush itself, not the actual fender yet. And I'm going to scrub down. Hopefully I'm not getting in the way of the camera. I'm definitely not a left handy, so that was difficult. And again, it's not that bad, so I'm not going to go after it too bad. Um, you can see all the, 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 the splatter. Uh, that's why it's so important to start with the wheels and tires first for this exact reason. Uh, if I had washed the car first and then did the wheels and tires, um, the car would have got dirty again. I had to go over it with a, another mitt and dry it off again. So uh, I always start with the wheels and tires. So like I said, like, hubcaps are super easy. Um, I, I, you know, I'm not too worried about there being dirt in the brush because, again, this is just plastic and that's uh, not gonna damage anything by any means. Um, unless you do something really crazy and just bang on it. But other than that, nothing's gonna happen, so. Uh, let me just there, that's pretty much it. So let me uh, rinse this off. I'm gonna use a Metro side, side Blaster. Oh, Sidekick, I'm sorry, Sidekick, to uh, blow all the standing water off, and then I'm gonna dress the tires. So before that, and then I'm gonna just give it a one four rinse. I don't like to use too much water, so I try my very best not to. Uh, quick inspection, everything is good again. It wasn't too dirty. I'm about to dry everything off with the uh, sidekick, so let's get that started. Okay, so this is the Metro Blaster Sidekick. Um, again, uh, just because I have this little fancy tool doesn't mean you absolutely need to get it to draw off your tires and wheels. Uh, when you're starting off, if you don't want to spend that much money or for whatever the reason, you could just use a towel and uh, work your way like that. Work in the fenders, dry it off in the fenders, the actual wheel itself. Um, of course, you know, once you start driving, uh, you will have a few drips here and there because, you know, a towel's not going to get every single part of the water uh, that's, you know, stuck in the crevices and such. Uh, but again, if, if you don't want to spend that much money, this, this is just a, a, a great way to, to do it as well. You can draw off the wheel like this. It might take a little longer, might not get as great results, but again, just because you see people or myself with these like fancy little tools does not mean you absolutely need to get this tool to be, uh, to get greater results. So uh, let me just dry this off. All right, and there we go. It's dry for the most part. And if, you can, if, if the video catches it, there's a bunch of little white lint. Obviously, this is from the, the towel that I just used. Um, a microfiber probably wouldn't do that. This is, uh, you know, this is terry cloth. Um, but again, again, then you can just come back and wipe off what you need to wipe off. Uh, any, uh, you know, residual water that may have came off that uh, from blowing it out. So um, there we go. So now let me just uh, dress the tire, and then we'll be on our way. 
So this is Meguiar's Hyper Dressing. Uh, I just have it in a 16 ounce bottle. Um, uh, you can dilute it. There's a bunch of dilution ratios that it gives you. Uh, 1 to 1, 4 to 1, 10 to 1. A bunch of di different dilution ratios. I just use it straight out of the bottle. I don't dilute it. Um, so I just spray it onto the applicator pad and work it in. And again, uh, for the most part, you're probably gonna uh, get some of it on the wheel, um, just because you can't, you know, you can't get it perfectly. Uh, so you're, you're probably gonna have to wipe it off afterwards. Uh, any residual tire dressing that got on the uh, on the wheel, or in this case, the hubcap. Um, and again, if you have, uh, depending on the wheel and tire that you have. Uh, sometimes, like if it's a big tire or pretty much a lot of cars, you won't be able to get this this bottom section. So just roll your car forward or backwards, and uh, obviously that side will, will not be on the on the bottom, so you'll be able to reach it much easier. And then you can let that sit for a few minutes just to let it really soak in, uh, or you can just uh, use a towel to pat some of it off uh, if it's too thick or you put too much on. And then you want to look around and see, uh, you know, if you got any on the wheel, so you don't have any uh, any smears or anything like that. You don't want to oversaturate it uh, and drive off like this because then it's going to sling off the, the tire when you start driving and then you'll have it all on your uh, on the fenders and all that. So uh, this wraps up this video. Again, short video, nothing too biggie. It was just a hubcap. wanted to show you guys just how I do it since uh, it's a hubcap. Um, again, you, you have a different method and it's uh, completely fine. So um, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.